this is the Gabriel's home right here. And as you guys can see, you guys can go check out Brenda.org for more interesting topics like this one right here. Anyway, let's go over this. Let me show you guys the definition of Gabriel's home. So let me, of course, write it down first. Gabriel's home. And this is how they define it. What we're going to do is, we're going to consider a region first. And the region is, okay, you have to have a function. And the function is 1 over x. And you want to go from x greater than or equal to 1. Let me just put it down like this. So it's the area under the curve from 1 over x. And you consider 1 to infinity, right? So if you look at this is the region, like that. Okay, This is the 1 over x. And you go from 1 to infinity. So first of all, you take this region, and then you are going to rotate about the x-axis. And we get a picture like this. And let's talk about the volume first. To get the volume of this, we can just use the disk method. We cut this vertically, and each little disk is like a small cylinder. Let me remind you, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times thickness. And I said the thickness instead of the height, because the height is so small, so it's the thickness, like a CD. Anyway, let me just write down the volume for you guys right here. Well, pi is just pi, that's okay. And r, as you can see from the picture, we are going from the x-axis vertically to the curve. Therefore, the radius is the y value. And let me put that down right here. And we have to square the r. That we have to square the y right here. And the thickness is the small change amount in the x values. So that's dx right here. This represents the volume of this little red disk. And then we have to add up all of the disk, meaning that we have to do integration from 1 to infinity and beyond. <laughs> anyway, we integrate from x equals 1 to infinity. And as you can see from here, y is not invited in the x world, but it's OK because y is just 1 over x. So if you would like, you can just do this real quick. This is equal to 1 to infinity pi times 1 over x, and you square that, and you have the dx. And let's just work this out real quick, because you can actually get this to be finite. And you can also do some improper integral business. You can see this is convergent. But I can just work this out. So let me put a pi in the front, and then integrate 1 to infinity. This is like saying x to the negative 2 power, and then we have the dx. You add 1 to the power, that's negative 1, divided by the new power, so we have this, and you have negative pi, and then x to a negative 1 power is the same, 1 over x, and then we are going from 1 to infinity. We plug in infinity, and then plug in 1, and we subtract. So we have negative pi times 1 over infinity, that's the first one, and then minus, plug in 1, and we get negative pi, 1 over 1, and if you work this out, you see this right here approaches 0, negative times negative, you get positive pi. And as you can see, this right here is the volume of the Gabriel's horn. So let me just indicate that the volume is equal to pi. And of course, that is finite. Now, let's see. Is it possible for us to wrap this around? How much wrapping paper do we need? Let's talk about the surface area now. And I'll do this one in blue. So let me put it down, SA for surface area. And for the surface area, I cannot look at a perfect disk anymore. I will have to look at the slanted version right here. Why? You guys can check my other video for it. Okay, because I did a lot of videos on explaining why we have to look at the slanted version. I also prove all the formulas for you guys, so watch it, please. <laughs> anyway, we will have to consider this little portion, which is the small change amount in the R length. I will write it as DL, the R length. So you don't look at a disk, you look at like part of the cone, okay? So it's like this, okay? And for the DL, well, um, we have y as a function of x. So the DL is just square root of 1 plus parentheses dy dx, and then we square that, and then we have the dx. Because we have a y as function of x, right? So what we are going to do is, for the r length, we are going to use 2 pi times the radius. And let me write it down. 2 pi is, of course, just 2 pi. That's not that bad at all. And then the radius is still the y, right? still the vertical distance. So I'll put down the y right here. And then we multiply by dl here. And as you see, dl is 
this part, we are going to replace this right here. But before I do that, let me just put on integral. I cannot put on any numbers yet, <laughs> but I will just write it down right here. We have the integral, 2 pi is still 2 pi. y is 1 over x, because we are about to get into the x world. So let me replace y as 1 over x. dl is that, so let me just open the square root with 1 plus dy dx inside. Well, this is my y. I will have to get the derivative. So let's do that right here. dy dx, the derivative of this is just negative 1 over x squared. So I will have to put that right here. Negative 1 over x squared, and then you square that, because this right here says so. At the end, don't forget your dx. And of course, don't also forget, don't forget your 1 to infinity, x going from 1 to infinity, like that. Now, here is a small trouble in this integral compared to that. Huh. You see, we have 1 over x. Earlier, it was 1 over x squared. This right here converges, but in fact, this one doesn't converge. So let me just write this down for you guys. Let me just clean things up. This is, of course, the same as a 2 pi here, and then you have the integral 1 to infinity. So we have the 1 over x here. If you don't have this part, if you just have dx, you see this right here diverges already. And the problem is that you have this, which is square root of 1 plus, and you can work this out, which is 1 over x to the fourth power, and then you have the dx on the very outside. Notice this right here, it's of course bigger than or equal to the divergent 1 to infinity of 1 over x dx. Not only because of the constant multiple, but this part, this part is bigger than 1. Bigger than 1 times 1 over x, of course this is bigger than 1 over x. And if you integrate over the same thing, of course this integral is bigger than that. But this right here, we know it diverges to infinity. Therefore, we can conclude that this right here must also diverges to infinity. So what we're saying, this right here is positive infinity, this is even bigger, therefore this right here has infinite surface area for that Gabriel's form. And you see, this is the crazy part. How can you even imagine that? But anyway, hopefully you guys all like this, and before we go, I just want to tell you guys about Brianda work. If you would like to learn more about interesting math problems and how to solve them, be sure you guys go check that out, because they offer a lot of interesting courses, such as calculus, discrete math, probability, and a lot more, you guys will enjoy it. And they also have one of the most engaging math communities I've seen. Be sure you guys go join them. You guys can discuss how to solve their problems of weeks questions. They have new questions each every week. The basic ones, the uh, defense ones. You guys will like them. Lastly, you guys can also use the link, brenda.work.blackpenredpen. This is how you can get a 20% off discount if you end up to sign up for their annual premium subscription. And you guys can also support my channel as well. Thank you guys so much. Anyway, hopefully you guys all like this, and thank you guys so much for checking out Brain Work, and as always, that's it!